Uncle Sam FM, I am back for, this is the third episode of this Iron Manager series, and we are still in the first season, 2019, we're about, well, we're a little past halfway through the regular season, and I'll just first take you to the results, and they have obviously been pretty good. I've got two blemishes, I had a draw in that second match against Louisville, uh, the first match against Louisville was the, um, the first live come of the series. Then uh, we we won that one, obviously, 4-2. to two. We got three wins in a row, played Louisville again. Now, that first match, obviously, was very um, open, right? A lot of uh, attacking. And then the second time we played Louisville, it was a nil-nil draw. A lot more, um, I guess, not quite as frantic. Uh, I did outshoot them, control the match, should have won but had to settle for a draw on the road. So all in all, that's a, not a bad result. Obviously, you know, when you, when you control a match, you want, you want all three of the points. But draw, not the worst thing that could happen because it meant that, you know, our two matches against Louisville, we got a win and a draw. We'll take that. that are, they are one of the top teams that we're going to compete against. And my other negative result was the draw at North Carolina FC. This one, we didn't play as well, but we probably still deserved the win. You can see 17-9, 67% possession. So it was you know slightly disappointing result, but we'll take it. Um, I think we had already... You know, I guess that's the only time we've played North Carolina so far. No, that can't be. We've got to... Well, I know I'm overlooking the other match. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we at home we beat them three to one, right? So, and North Carolina is one of the other better teams. So, um, took four points from Louisville, four points against North Carolina. Those are good results. And we'll look at the standings. So, we go to the um, USL Championship Division. We'll just look at the stages here. You can see we are easily on top. We lead St. Louis FC by 17 points. Really, we're kind of strolling through this thing um, easily, you know, I, and I expected to. I it, ha it has been a little easier than I thought it would be. I kind of expected to at least, you know, lose a couple of games because I am heavily rotating. I am uh, basically playing first, second, first, second. Um, injuries has also kind of forced me to heavily rotate, but even, even with having to play my second team in, in a lot of matches, the result of been mostly good so we are yeah we are running through the league we, we will easily get the top seed in the east and probably will you know i was a little north orange county started off like gangbusters as you can see they're still 11 and 3 right they, they have four games in hand on us if they win all four of those that puts them at 48 right so as far as the overall regular season title it might be close in the end with orange county depending on our results but i still feel confident we're easily going to have the most points in the league and so we'll go into the playoffs in a good position to to host all the way through so that's yeah that's been about what we expected um squad wise i you know i have we'll look at the statistics real quick i have obviously rotated a lot if you look, I think I've got matches played over here. Yeah, as you can tell, like even these guys down here who are the subs, I'm they're nine, ten appearances. So they're, you know, I'm again rotating heavily. Statistics wise, prop, my best goal scorer has been a cam. No big surprise there. Um, he also has three assists. He's he's played mo more on the wing than he has a striker. I'm gonna play him at the at the uh, the nine today. McCarty has been solid as we expected. Mukhtar, although he, you know, he's he's dealt with some injury issues, he's still got four goals, which is you know 0.68 goals per ninety, which is I think the highest on the team. Let's see, yeah, it looks like the, he's he's got the highest on the team. So he is a goal scorer from his, from the number ten position. I'd like for him to create more chances. He's only got one assist, but he's he's you know been pretty much what we expected. Uh, defensively, we've um, you know tackled pretty well. Uh, Nazarite, no surprise, is 100% tackle rating, which we needed out of him. Um, transfers, I've not done much. I did have 
transfer history. I did um, send out, which these are all, <laughs> these not, none of these are mine. Um, uh, none of these over here. Sent uh, Shaq Adams on the loan to Las Vegas. He actually was with the second team, so not a big deal there. Uh, Mukhtar, I'm sorry. Um, I brought in a couple of... Uh, <laughs> I was looking, look again, looking into the future, looking at guys my scouts brought in. I brought uh, these two players in on trial by by row, and he, he's he's not like a great prospect, but I like that determination. He's only 19. I figure I might as well take a chance, so I've brought him in, put him with the two squad. Uh, same with this person, Pierre Graham. I'm not even gonna try. He uh, he's an Argentinian again, 13 determination. Um, you know, not great, but I think he had like a four-star potential. So I brought him in. Kofi Sarkoti, I did trade away. And I don't know why it's not showing the players I traded out. I traded out two players. Is there a place to find your trades? That's weird. I thought I thought there was a... Hmm. Uh, I traded away um, Eric Miller, who is my... I can't believe that's not showing. I'm going to just do a search on him. Erky Miller, Eric Miller, traded him out to Austin FC, as you can see, and got a first and second round pick. At, at this point, I'm trading. I'm pretty much because I'm not overly concerned about this season. Right, I want to win the league. You know, we're going for it. Uh, Eric Miller was my number two right back at the time. He actually was my starting right back because Beckles was injured. So, but I traded him away, got a couple draft picks. But that meant that I needed depth at fullback or at wing back. So I brought in Kofi Sarkoti. He's a guy who's drafted in MLS about nine years ago and played with Houston San Jose. Uh, he was a free agent. So uh, when I saw him, signed him up, and so he is now on, on the squad. That's really the only transfer news there is. Sarkoti, he'll be gone at the end of this season. I'm not going to take him into MLS. He's not good enough for MLS. So, But I, you know, just for depth for this year. We signed him. So that's the situation. That kind of, I think, brings you up to speed. Not a lot of news. My, my scouting is not doing very much. I, I, we'll go to assignments. Um, I only have one report. <laughs> I don't know if I've had, I have told them I only want guys with determination, I think, of 12 or higher. So I think maybe that's what it is, but I don't want anybody else. So no news scouting-wise, really. Um, today, and what we're going to look at, is the Open Cup. And our opponent is Philadelphia Lone Star. This is an NPSL team. No, USL2 team, sorry. And in, uh, USL2 is, I guess it's the fourth level of, of soccer in the United States. And it's, it's actually kind of a summer league for college players in real life. So these teams are really low level. I don't expect much of a challenge. You look at their team. And yeah, there's they're not very highly rated, so I should walk out with a pretty easy win. But I wanted, I, ha I need to do well in the cup. The board wants me to make it to the round of 16, so I'm not taking any chances. I've kind of set up my rotation to where my first team is playing today. So with that said, let's watch. It should be this will probably be kind of a oh I can only have five corners. I forgot about that. You only have five foreign players in the uh, in the U.S. Open Cup, which means I need to find. Let's see, Anunga. We'll take him out and put in Trivet. That should get me below the. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I can't believe I forgot that. I usually am pretty good about checking that. All right, so here we go. They are at a 4-4-1-1. I will be in my 4-3-3, and I'm going to stay in it because um, because of their front setup. Now we'll go to opposition instructions. And I'm going to be pretty aggressive. I'm going to go to my tactics and transition. I'm going to go to counter. Because I feel confident that we can hold up things in the back against their attack. But I need goals. So let's try to get some goals. And 
immediately force a long ball, and we're going the other way. Not much of a highlight there. So the U.S. Open Cup is actually one of the oldest cup competitions in the world. It's uh, it's over. Oh, I can't remember exactly when it started, but I'm pretty sure it's over 100 years old. Uh, obviously, MLS has dominated it in the last since it op uh, started in '94. Ooh, a cam or '96 cam shot goes over. Um, they've won it every year except one. The Rochester Rhinos won it in, uh, I want to say, 97. Or 99. A cam inside the area. Godoy shot just wide. <clears throat> yes, and that, I think they put up the Rochester Rhinos Cup Final on USsoccer.com recently. I don't know when you're watching this video, but uh, Mukhtar wins it. Attack, Leal, in the area, shot, tipped over. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of, you know, our, we're in that COVID situation. Uh, it looks like in my state where I live, we're kind of winding down. We're, most, most things are opening back up. But obviously with no soccer being played, no football, U.S. soccer has uh, a couple times a week put up some old matches, national team matches. Ooh, shot, just tipped wide. And, you know, of course, it's there's no live football, so you might as well watch. Oh, header on the corner. Nazarene makes it one. First goal, 15 minutes in. Probably won't be the last, as not surprisingly, Lone Star has not had any sort of an attack. Keeper can't get to it, and we're up 1-0. Should be all we need. Should not be giving up goals, but... So yeah, that Rochester Rhinos run was uh, the last run by a non-MLS team. Mukhtar shot is wide. Most teams um, do not take the... Well, I don't know how to dis best describe it. They, it's not that they don't take it seriously. But... For the MLS teams against lower level clubs, what they usually do is they treat it like like friendly for the B team. They let the B teams play. Uh, and Leal was on a second goal. Um, almost too easy there. That goal slots it to McCarty, who gives it right back. And pretty much no challenge there as Leal just... Skins his man, scores the goal. And it's 2 0. So most teams will call up, which the, the um, I guess, Fed rules, U.S. Cup, Open Cup rules, you can, MLS teams can call players up from their B level team and start them, play them in the Open Cup. And so a lot of teams will do that, give, uh, They'll chop mostly reserves out there and then maybe two or three loans from their B team to kind of round out the numbers. Obviously, they don't wanna they wanna they wanna cause fitness issues with the A team and the league play as MLS teams focus on league play. But it's really kind of silly that they do that in a way. Cause the open cup is the winner of the open cup gets to go to the CONCACAF Champions League. And so it just seems crazy to not sort of go all in right from the beginning. A couple of years ago, and this is this happens, the Houston Dynamo were one of the worst teams in the league, but they won the U.S. Open Cup, so they got to go to the CONCACAF Champions League uh, last year, 2019. I can remember a few years ago, oh, header just goes wide, the New York Red Bulls finished dead last. They were the worst team in MLS, won the Open Cup, and so they got to go to the Champions League. This was back during the Juan Carlos Osorio days, if I recall. So it just seems foolish to not go all in with the Open Cup. Uh, Seattle Sounders, I remember, it's kind of brilliant to me they 
their first two years as a team they won the Open Cup. So right away, they're playing in continental football. All right, so we go to the half, only up 2 nothing. Not a great half, but you can tell, you know, it's not, it's 22 shots to one. Um, team's probably not even given a full effort. <laughs> Which, you know, in a way, it's kind of hard to blame them, but I would like to just run away with this thing. Really, there's no reason we shouldn't have four or five right now. McCarty out to Beckles. Beckles? Beckles? I don't know how to pronounce it. And it goes out. Yeah, so I've sitting here been talking about the Open Cup most of the time. I it, It's a fun little tournament. Um, games like this uh, where, you know, it's you have an MLS team traveling to some small little high school stadium probably. <laughs> And Max McCarty with the corner, puts it up. Nazarene's header, ball goes over. And I told you guys to get creative, and they're just not interested. Oh, that's offside, but see, that's... Got to focus up. I do have... I've got some guys with low determination. Like Mukhtar's determination is very low. He's my best player. Let's see if I can do it. Cam with the skins his defender. Takes tries a shot. Yeah, they're just not. There's no guile on that shot right there. Let's see if I can demand more. Nah, I see some of them don't even. Charge free kick goes off the wall. Um. I'm going to go ahead and get Mukhtar out. I've seen enough of his nonsense. I put Dax McCarty in the 10 roll. Good old Dax. I can slot him into any any of the midfield triangle spots, at least at this level. Probably should be playing in a 10 spot in MLS. Let's try and get somebody else in the attack. Mial did score, so I'll take the Mladi out. And, yeah, we're going to um, get through this game, but it has not been a great performance. Take McCarty out just to keep him from being injured the last 10 minutes. That response was good. Yeah, I mean, 35 shots in a way. That's yeah, 35 to one. Normally, you, that's you would be happy with that. Leal gets a third goal, just to kind of put the last nail in the coffin. But this is a game we really should have won by more. Yeah, should have should have trotted out of this thing with a five six nothing win. Leal, another free kick goes over. And this will be the last. Well, and I'm going to kick it. All right, so three, nil, three to nothing. Easy advance in the Open Cup. Uh, I will. Let's see. We'll look when we come back. Um, probably will come back maybe later in the season. Um, looking at the opponents here. Yeah, we'll look down here somewhere so that we'll have a better idea of what the playoffs are going to look like, who some of my opponents might be, how far I made it in the cup. So we look at the cup second round. Uh, I don't think they've drawn it yet. Won't draw it until tomorrow. So we won't worry about that right now, but it's a regional draw, so North Carolina maybe. So, uh, yeah, I will we'll let that be the end of this Iron Manager episode. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please, by all means, leave them. I will sign off and see you next time.